Hey everybody, I'm here with Michael. Michael. At the house, you know, on Sundays, he washing their back. He don't come out on Sundays. <laughs> I'm here with my grandfather right here, Mr. Julius Jackson. So, granddad, last time you talked about being one of 21 children last time, right? Who was the oldest and who's the youngest? Uh, Mary, Auntie Mary was the oldest. Mm -hmm. Linda is the youngest. Auntie Linda is the youngest, right? My auntie that lived, um, we used to go to her house every day after school. She's the babysitter us at one point, right? Um, so when we talked about, you know, the upbringing in the Robert Taylors, what jobs did you have while you was working, when you were living there, like growing up? And uh, I had several jobs, man, because I moved in the project in 1974, June. June, June, you mean June, June 1974? You remember the yeah, month? Yeah. Dang. When I moved in there, 1974. Where did y'all used to live at before y'all lived in the project? Uh, we used to live at... Uh, uh, 46 and Elvis. Okay. 46, 37 South Elvis. Wow. Yeah. I ain't never knew this. Okay. I'm right there at 47th Street before you got to uh, State Street. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because during that time on 47th Street, they used to have the trolley buses. Right. Uncle Claude used to. Driver talk, trolley bus. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you talked about your mother and your father. Did your mom work? No. I, mama probably worked, but I don't remember. You don't remember her working during that time period? Okay. Yeah, and then your father, what job you say he had? He worked for Crawl Construction. Crawl Construction. Yeah, he was a cement mason. Okay. Yeah. The land was so goddamn big, that's what I can pick up anything. Yeah. So, like, cement makes your hands real big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, we talked about, like, you know, the, the different times in the, in the Robert Taylors. And um, when y'all moved there, like I said, was it a happy time for y'all to move when y'all moved to Robert uh, Taylors? That was a great time, man. Cause after we moved up from 46 to Ellis, ooh, man, we was in a cold water flat. Now, you may not know what a cold water flat is. I don't. A cold water flat is when they don't send up no heat. They don't have anything. We were living in there just naked. In cold Chicago. Cold Chicago, but Chicago never got as cold as they get now during that time. Wow. Now, when we moved in, in uh, Robert Taylor, it was June. Well, I think it was June or even July, nineteen sixty-nine. When y'all moved where? To Robert Taylor. Okay, not not seventy-four, nineteen sixty-nine. Yeah. I moved in the project in nineteen seventy-four. I'm not. That was my first apartment. Oh, you moved individually, right? right I guess you, yes, you. Yeah. Grandma, your grandmama got knew this lady named Miss Scott. Okay. And she was here to uh, housing over there. Mm hmm. And she gave me a problem. Got you. And so, grand, let me say this. You grew up with majority 17 girls, yeah. right? You only had yeah. three brothers. What was he? <laughs> did, you, did you want more brothers? Did you, you know, did it, was it difficult for you with all the girls? You only get what you got. You right, you right, yeah. yeah. But it, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah, it's always a good thing. Even though it was a lot of girls, it was uh, still fun. Right. And then y'all gave me my nickname from your brother. Dick. His <laughs> name is Jonathan Jackson. Okay. Well, everybody, his nickname was Dicky. Got you. Yeah. That's why Dicky Doc called me. <laughs> now, that's my nickname, y'all. Y'all don't know that about me, but yeah. that is my nickname. My family calls me that to this day. Yeah. And then um, we were talking about... Um, when you met my grandmother, you know, then my grandmother. Now, I met your your, your grandma. Mm -hmm. I met her in August of 1971. Right. And she was. You said that, huh? was born in 71. Well, no, I met her back in August of 1960. 69. 69. Okay, yeah, 69. And 
she was best friends with my auntie Linda. She was real close to my auntie Linda. Yeah, it's real close right now. It's still close to this day. Yeah, it's still yeah. close. Yeah, like that. And so, um, you know, I always think about this as like a special time because I think, um, you know, we talk about the Robert Taylors and stuff like that. People hear about the bad things, but yeah. I say my family history was is all throughout them buildings. Let me tell you something. 1969, I first met Maurice Cheeks. Mo Cheeks, they used to play the point guard because he from the Robert Taylor Project. I used to go up to his house. To Mo Cheeks' house? 50, uh, 5266. What? They stayed on the 8th floor. What? Mo Cheeks stayed on the 8th floor? Yeah, yeah. Maurice yeah. Cheeks. He went to do Sabo, didn't he? Yeah, came out the project. Yeah. Yeah, the project is not all bad. It, it wasn't the project. It was just some of the people in the project. Yeah, you right. Project was the best thing that black folks ever had because we had hot water in the winter, winter time you could walk around with your shorts on. Yeah. Can't do that in the cold water flat. <laughs> yeah. You got to be dressed up like you're going outside. Man. But we made it. Yeah. You know, times got bad a little bit, but I didn't think about that. Now, Grandma be telling me about that I had a milkman and stuff like that. I yeah, like Robinson. I know him. It was called Mr. Robinson. He used to deliver the milk for your grandmama, your great-grandma. Okay. She used to buy uh, milk, eggs, cheese, butter, and all that from him. He was like a, a traveling grocery store. Wow. Yeah, and if you didn't have the money, you get it on, on time. You get it on credit. Dang, okay. But he, but he got his money. He got his money. Mm -hmm. That's when the project wasn't really bad. Right. Projects didn't get bad until 19... About, it started getting bad in 1978. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but I don't get a project for Black Eye Man. No, because... That was home, man. And a lot of people don't know, because people who didn't live there, they always had something bad to say about it. Right. But over there, we had a lot of fun, a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of big people come out the project. A lot of big people, yeah. Yeah, and then they, a lot of people try to hide their past. I ain't got nothing to hide. I loved it. Yeah, I forgot. Mo, like you said, Mo, you just dropped my memory. Mo Cheeks. Yeah. Basketball Hall of Fame point guard came from the Robert Taylor Project. And a coach for the Philadelphia 76ers. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Coach for the Sixers all there, yeah. Right. For sure. My Reese Cheeks, I used to go up this house on the eighth floor, 5266. Wow, man. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. That is crazy. But yeah, when Grandma talked to me about like a milkman and stuff, that's not something I ever remember or I lived through having no, a milkman. No, no, because you. You wouldn't even thought of then, because Robinson used to come down the fire lane and deliver the milk and de would deliver what you needed. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a good guy, man, for a long time down there. Yeah. And then I talked about memories when Auntie lived in 50, 5100, Ooh. Auntie Linda, and she was on the 15th floor. Linda stayed in, in, in your great-grandmama's apartment. And 5100 or 50, 50, yeah, 5135? 1505. 1502. No, your great grandmama lived in 1605. 1605. Okay. Yeah. Then she moved down 1502. Then, yeah, then after that, mama died and Linda took over mama's apartment. Oh, I see. I see. Got you. Yeah. And I would talk about how when the elevators would break down, oh man, we got to walk all the way up through yeah. the stairs. It used to be some rough times, but once you get up to the to the top, <laughs> and don't don't think about when it got cold, cause ooh, when it got cold, we yeah, had some cold winter. Yeah, the hog be hollering like you, you said. Be glad to get in there. You get in that house, you can take off all your clothes and walk around with your shorts on. It'd be hot in the side, ain't hot like that. Hot, man. We had six to seven janitors to a building. Okay. And that lasts for all the way till when? When Linda moved out? She went to 5100. 
Fifty one thirty five. Yeah, but but that happened after 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 your great grandma died. Nineteen seventy seven. Everything in the project started going down. Okay. That instead of having five to six janitors to a building, they put it to three janitors. Mm. Then it went from three to two janitors. Wow. Yeah. So that leaves the care of the building not in proper hands when it's only two people. See, on 51st Street, the police station is there. Mm-hmm. Right. I remember when they built that police station, they had a helicopter landing pad. Really? Yeah. The police station right across from the McDonald's, right? But right. Was, yeah. Because they used to be the McDonald's there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. McDonald's, the circuit court there. Oh, boy. Yeah, all of this, man. And so, you know, it's like I said, even dating from, like, the Robert Taylor, we talked about chokes. We talked about the programs they had inside of the, um, man, inside of the... chokes saved my life. <laughs> It saved a lot of lot of poor black folk life. Yeah. Cause that's all they had to eat was the choke. They yeah. be looking for them <laughs> every morning. You be waiting on the choke. What well, my choke? Cause the choke was, was for the after school program. Or something it's like like that. the breakfast and lunch and the Yeah, breakfast and lunch. Yeah, after school. Yeah. yeah. And when you get them chokes, you be glad to have them, man. They be like a steak. Yeah, it's like a steak eating the thing. Man, because hey, that's all you had. And um, so and I'm going to talk about like Chicago during that time period. Uncle Buzz and them tell me about going to like uh, Dewtown and stuff like that and all that type of stuff. Going that was, Dewtown was a marvel. Uncle Buzz in there called the ass in. I was in the all of it. My daddy used to take us to Dewtown. Yeah. Because you could get them. Look, daddy, I, I ain't going to say it was cheap, but it was cheap. Mm -hmm. You get them secondhand suits. But them Greeks would sew your clothes up so nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, and everything you get. They had a pair of shoes called Brogan. Mm. I don't care what you did, you couldn't tear them up. <laughs> You could do all that you want, but they wouldn't tear The, the shoes is indestructible? Yeah, them bro games were. <laughs> yeah, they became classics. Yeah. Now you can't find a pack. Yeah, I bet. I bet. When y'all were living there, what was your means of transportation? Your father had a car or y'all was on a bus? A uh, train? Daddy never lived in the project. Okay, never. Okay, yeah. No, but uh, we used to catch the bus. I used to go to catch the bus and go to Wendell Phillips. Right, high school. Yeah. And I would catch the Jimmy because we would walk from 51st Street to King Drive. Mm -hmm. 51st to King Drive, catch the, get the, uh, you catch the Jimmy for 25 cents down to 39th. Okay. Phillips on 39th? Yeah. Okay. Got 244 you. East 39th Street. Okay. That's yeah. my Phillips. I remember this too. Me and me and uh, Auntie Linda, we would walk. Me, Nene, Auntie Linda, all us dirty, all us walk to the Bud Billiken Parade. It was on King Drive, right? Right. Yeah. That was Bud Billiken Parade was going on in. Bud Billiken Parade been going ever since 1920. Yeah, it's quick. Dang. 1920. Dating back that long. I ain't going just that long. Yeah, we used to walk over to the King Drive and stuff like that with Auntie Linda and them. I remember Man. all that. <laughs> Once upon a time, 1959, that's when they had the Cisco Kid, all of them, in the Bud Billiken Parade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was sharp. That we talk about your younger years. We seen some pictures of you suited and booted. You were sharp as a porcupine, weren't you, Granddad? Yeah, I, I thought I was. <laughs> Look, Superfly destroyed a lot of mine. Superfly the movie? Yeah, man, cause it, it tore up a lot of young men. Cause everybody walk around with that little Bible like they was, they was a drug dealer. My name Priest. <laughs> Your name ain't. Shit. <laughs> but that's that's the way it was, man. Yeah. And uh, living in the project, Mama, Mama used to, Mama used to make Francine and Buzzy. Uh, gingerbread cake because my mama was a great cook. Man, mama could cook anything. Yeah. 
But she always made them gingerbread. Mm hmm. You my baby that gingerbread. You made a gingerbread stuff? Yep, man. Look, times was hard, but don't look back and think about how hard they were. Mm hmm. Cause I'm a project of public aid, but I made it through. True enough, true enough. And we used to talk about when we went to Auntie Mary's house, Auntie Mary made that hot water cornbread and stuff like that. Auntie Mary stayed in the apartment 909. 909. 5041. Oh, 5041. What, what floor y'all was on? 1003. Okay. They was in 1003. Yeah. Auntie Mary was that, in 509. Auntie yeah. Man. Auntie Nan was in 909. 509. Mary, 509. And Mary, Auntie Mary was in 909. Uh, Miss Scott, that was the first apartment that I had with you, where your mama now stayed. Cause when I moved out, they they I, I didn't take the apartment, I left them with them. Right. I mm -hmm. told Miss Scott, and they was babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, growing up, man, sometimes I be saying, how did I make it through all that? Right. Never joined the gang, never. But they was prevalent. Gangs was all around Chicago for the longest yeah, time. Yeah, man. And then in the projects, they used to have this security called, oh, God, now I just done slipped my mind. <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. Okay. But uh, there was a security guard system in the project. And uh, they were cool for, for a minute. And then they just went. Rogue like the police. Dang. Killing folks. Cause that's when they shot Beverly son in the back of the head. Mm. They gave her all that money. Beverly is broke. Beverly got ten point some million dollars. Woo. She broke. What happened to the, the lady son? A uh, police shot him shot him while he was running from him. Mm. Shot him in the back. Tell them in the back of the head. Wow. It's yeah, they definitely gets a lot now. But it don't make no difference. They can shoot you now, and they still gonna let you get away. Yeah, she. Yeah. Okay, Granddad, we're gonna continue this another time. We're gonna keep it going, though. We appreciate you talking. All right, man. Everybody, right, for sure.